Hello everybody, in today's video I will show you how to install examples from the GitHub repository regarding to the ABAP2 UF5 project. These examples can then be copied and adapted to your own needs. So let's open the transaction SICF. Here we have created the set ABAP2 UF5 service. We test this service and you should see a browser window like this. And this is the precondition for the example programs. So let's go back to the GitHub repository. We click on this repository. Then we can scroll down to this link. This is a live demo. If we click on this link, we can pick and test some uh, examples like the message boxes here. And some of the examples in this live demo works, others not. And this is the reason why we install it today on our on-premise system. So let's go back to the GitHub repository. And here we can click in the source folder to check which program we will install. Okay, so then we go back and we click on the green button here and then we copy the link to the GitHub repository. Then we open an SAP GUI window and here we type in the transaction SE38 and here we search for the program set ABAP it standalone. So this is the next precondition an ABAP git installed client. And here we click on new online. Here we paste the GitHub repository URL and we pick a package. In my case, I pick a temporary package called set ABAP to UI5 underscore samples. And then we click on the button create package. Then we create this temporary package. We pick a short description. Software component is local. And next we click on create online repository. Then we see the objects and then we click on the pull link. So these are an overview of my object. We see the example programs we click on continue and now the programs will be fetched i have speed up this a little bit after that we can check this with the transaction se80 in the object navigator here we open the package ur5 samples and here we are here are the example programs the different classes so now we refresh this window and we see a new link start developing explore code samples. We click on this button and now we have the example, the samples on our on-premise system. So we can check here different uh, features, file APIs, dynamic typing and general barcode for example so let's try this okay we can pick here the barcode type so let's pick here the QR code and yes we should paste our channel link so generate okay so we have to fix the scale show barcode again and this barcode should work oh it's pretty nice so we go back and uh, we can call, if we click here in the browser window, in this link, we can call the different samples if we uh, change here the number at the end. So I want to show you a list. So I pick the number 70 and we see a list with a search field. If we click on the button here, we see a nice process indicator, some values, some columns, checkboxes and so on and on next i will show you how to adapt this kind of sample program so for this i use 
Eclipse and the ABAP development tools. First, I add here the new temporary package to my favorite packages. Dollar set up up to UF5 samples. Click on OK. Then I open here the source code library. Scroll down to my program to my list. It's the number 7T. The list report with the search field. Right mouse click, copy. And I paste it in my samples package. Then I pick a name. I add here CAC for custom code and then I click on next and on finish. And now we see the code of the COVID test program. And now let's change some things. For example, first the types. We uh, use the table S flight for our example today. So we scroll down, we uh, command the selection column. Here we can change the title to S flight test up up to UI5. Then we scroll down and here we have the columns, the definition of the columns and the different properties. So let's command the first line. And because we use the table S flight, so let's check the columns of this table. Okay, care ID. So we paste here the care ID for our first column. And then we command the other columns just for testing. And here we, un we command this and we select the data directly from the table S flight into our table empty table. So then we click on activate and yeah, let's we click here on the browser and we add here CAC so that we can call our test program. And we see here the care ID is visible. And if we click on search, we have some values in there directly fetched from the database table. Okay, so let's go back and add the con ID and the plain type. So we go here to the columns and we uncomment the next two entries. First one, we paste con ID. We set the filter property con ID, the text con ID and the value. And we see here, this is an input field. Next, we paste the plain type and this is a normal text field. Okay, activate again. We go back to the browser and refresh the window. We see now the con ID and the plain type. We click on search and we see here the data from the table. The column con ID is an input field, which is not editable. So we go back to the code and we change the setting from the property editable from ABAP false to ABAP true. And now refresh again and we click on search. And now we are able to add some um, letters to the con ID, for example. Okay, and we see the sorting is available. Descending, ascending, filtering is available, and we can use the search input field. For example, I type here A380, and then we only see the plain type A300. The same for the care ID. We pick here LH for Lufthansa, and only the Lufthansa care IDs are shown. And we have here some events we can use. We have to code this. Yes, and this works pretty well. Yes, that was the, the short example how to adapt a, a example, a sample program for your own needs. And as in every video at the end, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments. Take care and see you in the next video.